And that's how I feel about that room. I just heard a noise. Yeah, I don't like the ceiling. There could be bats up there or something. It's a little too ornate. I don't know why the ceiling... The, sh the ceiling shouldn't be more complicated than the floor. Anyway, let's play Zelda. Good orgy room, you think? I think it'd be too dusty. The rug would catch all kinds of fluids. You probably want a tarp down in an orgy room or like a hardwood floor or something. I guess this is the shrine inside Rudo Village or... No, wait. What's the name of that village? It is Rudo Village, right? Gotta love a nice... This is just like... It doesn't get more classic than this. Okay. Is the graphics improved in many ways on PC? I would say so, yeah. I think it's mostly in... I mean, resolution and frame rate are huge. This game looks so, so good when it's, uh... When it's at high frame rate. The animation is just top tier in this game. And I think the frame rate really helps it sing. Okay, they only go this way? Oh no, there's one. Oh, okay, that was it, yeah. Now, is there a treasure chest in here? There is. Hmm. 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 I guess I just have to shoot it with an arrow? No, wait, it's pointing the wrong way, though. Oh, no, wait, no, it's not. Where's the ants? <laughs> Last game, unfortunately. Oh, don't want to see my uh, achievements. Don't need to see my Xbox Zelda achievements. Do you think you'll ever get gamer score for playing Zelda? Do you think? Why did the Steam window show up? That was weird. I can get achievements for playing Death Stranding. Hideo Kojima's Death Stranding. We live in that world now. Why not achievements for Zelda? Open a chest, you get a little badink. Oh, I need those. I wonder if that's enough to upgrade my other slate. Uh, no, it's only, I think I needed three. Yeah. Okay, now, can I go get my arrow back? I want my arrow back, but I think they sink in water. I don't know if you could just get them. I don't know if you can just go find them. Is it possible Death Stranding will come to Xbox? It's pretty clear that... Well, let's see here. It's still Sony published. So maybe not. Maybe not. They seem cool with PC. Although it's on PC Game Pass. It's on an Xbox service. That was probably a deal with 505. I'm guessing like... 505 has the rights to distribute on PC and Sony just didn't think that that would include Xbox service on PC or something. Yeah, but I'm sure that like whatever publishing contract 505 does. Oh, arrows will float? Okay, I'm gonna go get it then. I'm sure whatever like contracts Sony ever signs or has ever signed for the publishing of Death Stranding have specifically said it's not for the Xbox console, I would guess. 
But yeah, you could stream into a console browser. Yeah. You can go to like Xbox Edge and launch. You can use like tools through that. Or xCloud. I guess xCloud is how you can play a lot of Xbox games on PlayStation. It's just going to get there like fast. This generation. I think perceptibly you could stream at console exclusive games to other consoles and it would largely be the same experience. I'm still just a, such a nut for uh, response time and latency. I just can't. I still can't. There's still another treasure in here. Yo, there's another treasure in here though. That's not all the treasure. Oh, there's that over there. What's that all about? Huh? Do I have to, like, make ice platforms to get over there? Hmm. Apparently DLS 3 has a lot of latency. I'm curious. I'm curious how much it needs to do what it does. If it's... If it's, like... Oh. If it's just interpolating between frames, then the latency actually goes down the higher frame rate it is. Which is, which is I think, going to be the saving grace of a lot of post-process that's being talked about. It's like, yeah, it may take two frames to, to do what it does, but if you're running at 120 FPS, that's not the same amount of time as two frames at 30 FPS, which is how it always used to be. Ugh, couldn't stand, like... 30 FPS console games that had loads and loads of post-process. Resistance was probably the absolute worst, I think. Looked pretty, but my god. Slowest game. Buy Iron Sledgehammer. Diablo 2 remastered gameplay that you did looked pretty amazing in CGI wise. Yeah, I guess the models and stuff look pretty good. Some of the novelty I feel like is not there because it was it was neat when it was all like pre-rendered sprites. Really, really like high frame rate pre-rendered sprites. You know, there's a game that has that look and it's still just as effective as Proteus. Proteus has the, like, pre-rendered sprite look, but it looks awesome. Yeah, I can't get up there. That's okay. Did I get all that? I have all the chests! I never finished Harvester Toasty, and I I was really, really uh, smitten with that game. I was really, really impressed. I did not expect there to... I thought it was, like, a gross-out game, and I guess to some degree it is, but I thought it was just going to be an edgelord, like, anti-suburbanite, like, uh, cool dude game and it's totally not sort of hmm it's very like uh very john waters which i just wasn't expecting at all so i want to go back to that game yeah proteus is super future doom it's cool it is cool yeah it's, it's very doom though but just the aesthetic elements that they borrowed from uh older 90s games i thought were really neat it's interesting to see like how much you can functionally brush up an art style before it stops looking like the thing that you're trying to to pay homage to especially when that that source materials aesthetic was created by that restriction of being like low resolution or low frame rate pixelated visuals chunky graphics Demon Lips compared Proteus to Fear a lot. Huh. I wouldn't have made that comparison, but... Hey, if it gets people excited. I don't know if there's a, an exchange... An exchange shrine here because I might want to buy a heart or two before I get into this dungeon. I also might want some better items and I'm definitely going to want like attack up elixirs, 
Uh, and a lot of arrows. Like, doing attack up makes it even possible to kill the, the boss. I remember the boss not being bad if I just came in, like, drank a ton of elixirs and used my absolute best weapons. Man, that's cool. I gotta go deal with the divine beast then. Yeah, I remember being really intimidated to do the, the divine beast dungeon last time on master mode. But then I did it and it really wasn't that bad. It was more possible than I thought. What? What do you mean, what? <laughs> yeah, go, go to the dungeon, you idiot. Why are you here, huh? The dialogue in Breath of the Wild is bizarrely snappy. Like, it's a lot more present, aware, and, and quirky. Zelda dialogue is always quirky. I'm just kind of impressed with the candor that characters talk to each other sometimes. I guess I feel like a lot of the time Zelda characters feel like they're talking to you in a dream. But in this case, in this game, they seem to talk to you like they're really there sometimes. A weird distinction. Ugh. Gonna brood. I didn't get a full look around this village last time. I know that there's some side quests and stuff to pick up too. timeline line I wonder I don't know if they ever put numbers to how long the divine beasts have been have been rampaging Yeah, right? And man I just can't get over how gorgeous this game is. And it's... it It's the triumph of a lot of things, but good god, the art direction is just so outrageously perfect. It's like better than outside. <laughs> outside is pretty, you know? With the sun and the wind and ah, sure, but Jesus Christ, this is like, this, this looks like and sounds like the best day, even though there's a rampaging beast overhead, I guess. Yeah, buoyancy, I'm playing uh, through emulator. But just some of the gradients in the sky at different times of day are just so outrageously gorgeous. It's just, it's just a lot of artists, I guess, really focusing on that feeling and that experience and conveying it to visuals. Okay, so the champions died a hundred years ago. Oh yeah, Link's been, Link's been asleep for a hundred years, right? That's the, like, the time period? Uh, 
That's right, Dirty Doritos. Cozy stream. Sort of. I'm playing on master mode, so it can't be too cozy. And I'm going to try to try to knock out this dungeon. And then I need to get a new horse. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a lot of cooking. I might be able to get some like armor upgrades before I go, maybe. But video game outside, you don't have to deal with humanity. Yeah. That's another thing that I like about Death Stranding so much. It's a very solitary game. But it is still about helping people. Or like, it's like the perfect game for a good-natured introvert. You get to go outside, get to walk around, get to experience nature, get to read some emails, drop off some packages. Are FedEx employees like, I feel like package delivery... I guess you still have to interact with people. Hmm. But in a very contained way. It's not Zelda unless you're smashing pots. You think you're gonna get to throw a pot like off of uh off of one of the sky platforms in Tears of the Kingdom? Uh. Maybe you can like throw a pot off and you can jump after it and skydive after it all the way down. And then pull out your glider right at the bottom and then see it smash into a million pieces. That'd be sick. Or what if it, like you did that and it landed on a moblin's head and just killed him? Oh, so cool. I think that's an interesting side effect of the game running at super high frame rate is that there's like a flash frame whenever it cuts because I think it it probably assumes that it has at least a couple of frames to build the build the scene Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among Naruto. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Wait, the rubber fish helmet? Oh, you must what is that? me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness! Link just hasn't said a word still. A lot of things sure do happen around Link. A gimp suit armor? Mm. Where do I find this? Is 
This was the dungeon you struggled with the most? Yeah? Ah, uh, I don't remember. I think I struggled with this the most because it's the first one I always go to. The first time I played, I ended up going to the Zora one first. Um, I didn't remember being too bad. None of the dungeons really ended up being too much of a struggle now that I think about it. They're very intimidating, but, uh... There's no real combat in the dungeons themselves in this game, right? It's just like puzzles and then you fight an incarnation of Ganon. I think I'm, I'm remembering wrong. Maybe not. I'm a bandit. Hey, what's up? I had to catch another Zelda stream. I actually did this Divine Beast earlier today. Great! You can you can tell me... <laughs> you can save me. I think I'll be okay. Let me check what weapons I've got. I remember it mostly being a bow fight. I'll, I'll need way more arrows, I think. Uh, uh, I would feel better. I can probably pick up some stuff during the dungeon, but I, I don't want to drop this leaf. Leaves are really, really, really handy to have. Is there any permanent storage in this game? There's not, is there? Oh, a ton of bomb arrows do the trick? Okay, maybe... All right, find some bomb arrows then. You can probably buy them in K Kakariko. Maybe. All right, well, I'm not... I gotta go do some stuff still, so... I'll wait until, uh... They tell me to go to the dungeon. Oh, that's right. There's that intro sequence where you have to, like, shoot the bits on it. Uh -huh. fish helmet repels lightning so do the pants in the full set he just looks ridiculous in it <laughs> oh the like Zora set or is that different <laughs> There's a rubber set. Oh, okay. Interesting. Earth. That's a cool name. Oops. Okay. Gotta go help Teba. Different than Zora, it's a literal gimp suit. Okay, it looked a little bit like... It reminded me of the Zora suit. Alright, 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 alright. Well, I guess it gave me a quest for that. Adventure. What? Okay, yeah, it's just... It's just going. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Did I jump off the right thing? I feel like I didn't jump off the right thing. There's multiple platforms, right? Hmm. Hmm. This doesn't feel right. Yeah, wrong way. Yep. Hey, that's Zelda. It's the freedom to go the wrong way. Well, here's how to get it. Oh, okay. Got a whole trial. that one, right? Yeah. Yes. Oops. <laughs> no, it's not. 
Isn't this the one? No, it's not. That's the same one. I thought this was the one that... Wait, this is the one that it zoomed in on. Oh, stream died. Ooh. Oh, does it does it have me as back now? I guess I'm back. Yeah, it just uh it just uh it just stops streaming. It just goes boop and then I just have to hit the button again. That doesn't make sense, does it? builds and builds yeah i don't know if that's obs uh it's never happened this way before so maybe it is obs just deciding to to disconnect i don't know it's a new phenomenon yeah stream too good not this way. I'll keep looking around. Hey, what's up, Malcolm? Well, that's right. There's another fairy fountain around here. Maybe I should try to find that first. Something like you have to be at the tower midday and then the shadow points to the points to the fountain. Oh, it's also one that I could just look at that. Yeah, Saint Sadist. It certainly... Hey. It certainly made me think uh, think about that. Twitch is talking about how they gotta start tighten, tightening belts to make ends meet. And now... Uh, now streams are getting randomly disconnected. Definitely an interesting coincidence. My, uh, my cynical mind says that it would actually be pretty easy for, like, Twitch to start like not necessarily throttling but sort of maybe trying to cut back on the uh bandwidth allowance that they pay for i don't know if that would just result in random disconnections though we could collectively sue i don't know for what i don't imagine twitch partner agreements obligate them to like a certain amount any amount of uptime off Jeff Bezos in traffic. I don't have to do anything to Jeff or him to come after me. He's just a bitter dude. He hates seeing success. That's Jeff. And he has to like, he has to attack it. Because he's a bitch. <laughs> Chaser boy. Thank you for the sub. Just learned Bezos has a secret bar underneath his balls in Seattle. He has wait, Bezos has balls in Seattle? Or is it like a statue of him that he drinks under? 
Uh, okay, now I'm torn. Because I feel like I want to sleep until midday and then try to find the fairy fountain. Because that'll unlock more potential upgrades. Is there any way to sleep for free? I guess 20 rupees isn't the worst. Right. This is going to work. It's going to be a good idea. Oh. The blood moon rises once again. Please be careful. Oh, the real name is Amazon Spheres, but everyone calls them Bezos's Bezos balls. Okay. And there's a secret bar under it. That's probably the most rich dude thing, is to have a secret bar that you drink at. You're still drinking the same liquor that everyone else is. I guess probably better. Probably better, but still. <clears throat> like, it's not hard to get, like, decent booze. Well, you can only drink so much. Like playing Breath of the Wild in Japanese better? It sounds nice. Yeah, I could see that for this game. I don't know. Most It's mostly just, like... Yelps and, and reaction sounds anyway, so Maybe it was like late evening. Maybe I'll just remember where it is based on the site and the landscape We're kind of being like I Remember you can oh there it is. Yeah, you can just see it This is such a cool traversal mechanic uh, I'm surprised that I haven't seen any other game do this, where, like, you can fast travel, but only to particular nodes. And then you can glide from that tall point to where you want to go. So, not only does it give you, like, a, a great view of the world around you, but you also get, like, a head start on where you're going. And you get that feeling of flying every time. I feel like it's definitely been done before. Oh, Just Cause does that? That's true. Yeah, Just Just Cause. I'm not saying it's never been done, and I'm not saying Breath of the Wild is, is the first game to do it. Uh, I'm just surprised it doesn't show up more, because I think it's just such a... a really cool... efficient, like, way of doing that mechanic. Climb of the Wild. It's so much climbing. Yeah. I spent a lot of time climbing, but... I think this game's cool because it makes climbing a game mechanic. It, traversal is a mechanic. I don't like Death Stranding. Actually, I think I need this for attack up potions. This is great. Out how great the ambient sound is. Oh, it's so good. It's, uh, it really does just like everything about this game is in service of making like Hyrule and nature such an important part of it. You got, it's mostly really cozy. Sometimes it's like, sometimes it's pretty aggressive. Okay, I've already. Photographed. I could use some more fairies, though. You could just hover on down here. Right, I'm gonna need those for the boss fight. Oh, wait, she needs money, right? Forgot. You have to pay to open them up. Well, I have 500 rupees, but... On the off chance that I can actually upgrade some of my gear, 
I'm gonna try it. A friend of mine feels like the Switch won't be able to handle the new Zelda due to things like flying and whatnot. I think it's fine. I think flying is like a... I think you just pull in the, like, flipping plane. Bring in some fog. God, I think Breath of the Wild's fairies might be my favorite. Ah. Well, it was worth a try. You get electric key swings. Or a shard of Farosh's horn. <laughs> that's the dragon. I have. Oh, that seems like a lot to try to get to upgrade this. That's a significant upgrade, though. Damn. <laughs> yeah, the ones in Ocarina were cool. I liked their scream. Like the the shriek, the like cackling shriek laugh that they do when they leave. I always appreciate it as a reminder that, you know, they're it might be dangerous. They seem nice, but they're also kind of just they play by their own rules and you need to remember that. Kind of thing. If I remember the ferry in the desert is 40,000 rupees and it's really hard to get to. Is it really that expensive? Oh, God. This, this music? You almost don't want to leave. It's so comforting. I remember there was some bit about Edgar Wright getting the rights to that song for Scott Pilgrim. And I think he described it as the lullaby of a generation. And I was like, shit, he's right. It was pretty chill that, uh, that Nintendo actually let him, let him use it. Any theories as to why they shrieked in Ocarina? Clearly off-putting. I just, I mean, there's, there's elements of Zelda that are like intentionally off-putting. I think it's just to remind you that they're not, they're not big humans. Like it's not just a, a person in a bikini. <laughs> they're fairies and they're weird. And, uh, they just, they play by different rules. And it's spooky and weird. Yeah, Redhead, I was... The setup process for this to get it working via emulator was... It was a little complicated only because there's a there's a lot of out-of-date information out there. So I ended up following like a few guides that were just not relevant anymore or even their services had shut down, but I only found that out like two-thirds of the way through it. So if you like start at the right place and do the right steps, it's really not that bad. If you start with the right tools, but... Big tree, blow him to the northwest, huge snow white bird. Yeah, BB, you can upgrade your health. I've just been upgrading my stamina instead. Ned Lobster, thanks for the sub. Am I supposed to see a tree? I think the LOD is messing up. But those are some of my favorite quests. The ones that start off with like that and it just points you in a direction and it's like go there. And you just have to use your eyeballs and your navigation to do it. 
and then go and then from there they give you like another visual landmark to, to use so it's not just uh it's not just go to the glowing you know follow the glowing arrow stuff Hell yeah. Blonk, blonk. Yeah, good old days before maps and the internet. Just figure it out. Yeah. Nobody has to stop and ask for directions anymore. Ah, that's right. I forgot how chilly it is here. That's right, because I remember there, there was like a, a period of the game where I had to sidetrack to get warm clothing, which you can buy here. But that means I need money. Uh, I, could pro I probably have stuff to sell. Let me go check the... Check the item shop. I remember buying one piece of, of like cold weather clothing and then I just used food. I think to, because you don't need cold weather protection when you're in the, oh, you, that's right. I have the warm doublet. It's right there. I already have that. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot. Um, oh, I'm already, I'm already wearing it actually. So that's not enough. Yeah. Need to get back into various games. I don't feel like going back. Ah, eh, then why bother? If you're not feeling it, Yakuza yeah, One, Fourteen, Final Fantasy Fifteen, and Ghost of Tsushima to finish. I just haven't. Eh, eh. Maybe, maybe just like give them each thirty minutes to refresh and see if any of them grab you again. And if they don't, whatever. I guess if you want to recoup your money, maybe then. But. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like, uh... There's no time for obligatory gaming. Although I do a lot of it, so I'm really not one to talk, I guess. I need to do some cooking. Okay, alright, 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 alright. Get some braids. A thousand! Okay, 550. I'm pretty... yeah. And this will... this will actually boost my... Yeah, because I just have basic pants anyway, so... I need 550. Oof, that's a lot. I might have to go farm some parts, but let's see. I can't sell all of my, like, uh... Well, I... I have a lot of apples. I think cooking them makes them more valuable? Well, whatever. Let's just go through and start start thinning it out a little bit. Ah. Yeah, look at all these wings. This is why we kill all those keys. Yeah, I guess I could go mining. I got plenty of choo-choo jelly, though. Yeah, here we go. I think I'll have enough. Mm -hmm. I think the claws were good for making elixirs, or they sell for a lot, but I think they also contribute a lot. So, okay. I think, let me, let me see if I've remembered how this works. When you're making a mon, when you're making like a, an elixir, or when you're cooking food, there's like different ingredients. Some of them make the effect more pronounced, like make the effect bigger, and other ingredients make the effect last longer. And that's like the two categories of stuff. But I'm trying to remember which is which. So if I make a dish with like four of these in it, it'll have really high attack up, but not for very long.
If you use more of an ingredient, it's stronger. Yeah, how do you make it last longer, though? Like, the amount of time. The cobbling horns and fangs do neither? Really? They just don't do anything? They are just a neutral elixir ingredient. Let's see if horns and claws, choo choo jelly, and key swings have used to upgrade armor with fairies. Oh, yeah. It's just more that they sell pretty well and they're pretty easy to get. Oh, wait, no. I want to sell some, like, two luminous stone and I'll be good. I'll just, uh, maybe I'll just save and experiment a little bit with cooking. It shouldn't take too long to figure out how it works. Oh, you've been replaying this too, uh, Cox Toby? Yeah, I'm getting ready for, uh... Getting ready for tears. Here we go. New pants. I'm actually gonna go check out... Let's see here, an ingredients... An effect's duration is controlled by the sum of its ingredients' time values. All cold, resist, attack up, stealth, etc. share at the same time. Plus 30 seconds for every ingredient. Okay. So a base... Like, just as a base, ingredients will add time. Let's see here. I'm gonna try this. Alright, so if I have... One of these, up, oh, and one mushroom. It's a one attack up for one minute twenty. And then if I have four of these and one mushroom, okay. So more of them make the effect last longer but they don't make it more intense so i guess you need better ingredients to have a m higher attack up effect kind of yeah speed boost Different ingredients for more boost. I thought, is it each different ingredient adds? If you mix two things with the same effect, it will be a lot better. Okay. So two attack up things. I think I may only have one. Yeah, I don't think I have another attack up ingredient. Endure cold, movement speed, defense, stealth. That was two defense. Yeah. Okay, cool. <sighs> Neat. I didn't know about the mixing different ones. That's nice. Fortified pumpkin and the defense up fish. Be here. have added more iron shrooms.
thing is, I always want to start thinking of like... I just start thinking like what would taste good. <laughs> There we go. Ooh, that's too much health though. I actually use too many ingredients because I can't, I have three hearts. I need to focus more on the stat and less on the actual healing, but whatever. I got plenty of ingredients, so it's not a big deal. Oh, bananas increase attack power. Right, of course. Actually, hold on. Stamina is really helpful during this boss. All right. The adjectives kind of describe what each item will do. Oh, sneaky. Yeah, armored. Hot foot. Yeah. Oh, stamina recovery. Elixir. Jesus. See, there's times like that where I guess just the fact that it was mushrooms overpowered everything else. Increase your stamina. Hardy truffles just for HP. Did I add one? Don't miss effects otherwise, it's just for hearts. Did it did I have one in there? Maybe I did. Oh, thank you, Pop Tart. Been liking your channel for months. Just got enough money to splurge on a sub. Working 13 hour days. Arnery. Thank you very much. You didn't need to do that, but I appreciate it. Sounds like you're working very hard. Wait. 13 hour days. Woo. Well, I'm very flattered that uh, you chose to spend money on me. Oof. So, well, I can't make another one anyway, so whatever. I just don't have very good ingredients right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, whatever. That's probably good enough. <laughs> it's probably not, but I'll, I'll figure it out. I just have some attack up, which is what I really wanted. It'd be nice to have, like, a really good bow. I have some good bows. 26 is probably the 38. Ooh, with durability up. Okay. That'll probably be what I end up burning down to try to beat this boss by the end of it. Let me go tag up the... Let me go hit up the fairy again. 
Let's see if I can upgrade these pants. I don't know, maybe I did have one of those mushrooms in there. Ah, whatever. I remember the past couple of times I've played this game, I have experimented enough to n loosely figure out how the potions get cobbled together. And, like potions and food. It's a really useful thing. Especially if you're going to start trying to fight Lynels and crap. Ugh. Trying to do that stuff without having like every tool working for you is just, just painful. Alright. Also maybe some fairies respawned. Oh, you're a museum security guard. Okay. Most of the staff quit during COVID. We're down to just me covering two to three posts a day. Ooh. Feet must be aching. I remember when I would work 12 hour shifts at retail and I was just, I remember just coming home and scratching the bottom of my feet, like eyes rolling back in my head. I've, I've fought Lynels on, on normal pop tart, but I haven't ever tried to fight a Lynel on, on master mode. They regen health. How ridiculous is that? How are you going to do that? How are you going to, how are you going to take that down? Ooh, Cremoso. Thanks for the sub. Rewatched all the Talking Stocking episodes tonight for some reason. Well, thank you. Thank you for the resub. Glad that you thought fondly of me after seeing those. Those were fun, fun days. Chaotic days, but fun days. No! Oh! Aww. Sometimes if you, like, uncrouch right under them and jump and grab them, you can get them that way. I was more worried. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty chaotic. Yeah, maybe it went a little too far, but everything wound up everything wound up okay in the end. Darn it. Need red choo choo jelly. That would be over near the Gorons. Ugh, I haven't gone over there at all. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Bye. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. You can sit and look at your phones or read. Okay. Well, that's something then. That's at least civilized. Okay. Three hearts. Three hearts in a dream. Maybe I should go to... Well, you do spend a lot of time in, in bullet time. I just don't know if I'm going to get one shot with three hearts. You can apply elemental effects to normal chew jelly to turn them into other kinds. Well, really? So you can just throw ch like chew jelly on the ground and then try to get it on fire to turn it into red jelly? That's so cool. I didn't know that. Well, damn. Maybe I should just drop... <clears throat> I should just go back to the village, drop the chew jelly in the, uh, in the fireplace. And go upgrade my pants. With that top tip. I'm gonna go do this shrine first. Every time I get a little bit closer. Ah! <laughs> no. I was about to say every time I get a little bit closer to actually doing this dungeon. Oh, there's new horses over here. Fuck. Damn it, these guys are sons of bitches. Ugh. Phew. 
Well, let's hope this isn't a combat shrine. I seem to remember this one having a treasure chest that took me forever to find. That's like my big memory of this one, just off the top. If I should try to kill this thing for the parts. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. Darn it! Oh no! I keep forgetting the buttons. This game has vastly different buttons than everything else, and I always underestimate it until I have to actually do combat. Knock it off, but then I won't get the parts. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering if I can, like... Oh, okay. I was thinking I could shove it off with Magnesis, but... I could just use a treasure chest and nudge it. You have a shield to reflect his laser? I do, but I was holding a two-handed weapon. Uh, and it takes a long time to kill those guys with reflected lasers. Because they regen health. Like, you can still do it, it just takes forever. And it still, I think, puts wear on your shield. Good bow. That's exactly what I need. Oh, okay. Well, all chests opened. I never got the timing on reflecting a laser mechanic to my secret shame. <laughs> I, uh, I had to because, like, that was the only way I could make it into Hyrule Castle at the end. Is by just going one guardian at a time and reflecting the lasers on my way in. I eventually just, like, punched a hole in the guardian ring and got my way in the castle that way. Love busting ass to get a, sh a chest in a shrine for it to always be a night bow. <laughs> I always need a night bow. Could always use another night bow. Ugh. These sequences look so good. With that crisp resolution.
I love the sort of forced to downtime at the end of the dungeon too. You could just hit, like, get a treasure chest, get your urban, be on your way. But it's that slow text, that sort of droning chant thing going on. It's like, ah, you just solved some puzzles. Why not relax for a minute? Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go toast up some choo-choo jellies. I think it's worth it to try to get a little more defense because I really don't want to get one shot. As long as I don't die in one hit, then I can just eat food and dive, duck, and dodge. I have some defense ups too that'll probably help get me out of one shot range with the last boss. Uh, I think it was down? Ping pot? I have no idea if item duplication glitches would work on this version of the game. Was it the other way? It was, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Breath of the Wild is simultaneously the most chill and the most stressful game ever made. I'm trying to think of like legendary stressful games. Catherine, Bioshock, Sonic. <laughs> is it just off? Maybe it's just not lit right now. Because it's the middle of the night. Sekiro? Oh yeah, oof. XCOM? Yeah. These are all good answers. Accurate. Alright, what the heck. Yeah, Bioshock 2. Fear. Layers of fear. Layers of fears. They're actually making layers of fears. It's so cool. Where the heck is the... There! Jeez! What's wrong with me? I don't know if you can... I don't think you can cook choo-choo jelly. I just want to drop it on the ground. Let's see here. I don't know if it's close enough to the fire, though. Maybe it'll roast like an apple. Perfect. Awesome. I think I only needed three. Last level I got to before my PS3 died was the ice boss level. Huh. Oh, and Catherine? Oh, it's been too long since I played that game. I don't remember that one specifically. What a what life event was that boss after? I don't have any pets right now, Cremoso. You just got your first cat? Oh How's it going? Is your kitty settling in? Already snoo snoozing somewhere? Caught up something, maybe? I've had tons of pets in my past, but I don't have any at the moment. Maybe it's time to get a dog. Maybe it's dog time. Need to help my influencer career by getting a cute pet. Yeah, what has your cat destroyed so far? Oh yeah, uh, with master mode, so let's see, it's, there's more enemies, 
Enemies are generally higher grade or higher tier. Uh, enemies regenerate health. If you don't hit them constantly, they'll just start regenerating health back up to max. So you can't just like chop out, cho safely chop enemies really. You either have to kill them by like crushing them or something or, or throwing them off of cliffs. Uh, oh yeah, one shot protection is gone. Normally in Breath of the Wild, you'll just like have half a heart or something like that, but you can get one shot in master mode if you're at full health. Uh, there's a couple of other things too. I don't know if they mess with weapon durability. Hey, what's up, Joe? Eh. Oh, ah. Did not do a good job grabbing the fairies. I think I still only have one. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna get better pants. It'll be fine. Once I get those pants, all my problems are gonna be gone. Ah. Uh. Catherine was in a bridal dress and trying to kill you. I think it's after she confesses she may be pregnant. Yeah, she's trying to, like, compel you into proposing. Doctopus, thank you for the sub, says, Best Legend of Zelda game. A bold proclamation, but one that I think you could make a strong case for. I don't know. I feel like, contextually, it's really hard to, it's really hard to top The Legend of Zelda and what it did. And the kind of game that it was when it was that kind of game. I guess it's like, it's tough because you can give the original game tons of credit, but there was also so much ground to grab. Like the, the landscape hadn't been staked out as much. Genres haven't been explored. Game types haven't been, hadn't been uh, refined. Yeah, it's hard to compare them because each one came out in such a drastically different times. I agree. I think I think uh, Breath of the Wild. Breath the the amazing thing about Breath of the Wild's context is that it came out in a time when games like this weren't super popular. Like even Zelda itself was pretty linear in uh, Skyward Sword, but it it really was a, a more of a rollback to a different kind of Zelda game and a different kind of game in general. And that makes it sort of out of context with its, its like 2017 release. I think it's my favorite. I don't know you, and I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. Those who dare. You play Gloomwood? Yeah. Streamed that uh, when it hit early access. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's so good, so so good. Mm -hmm. Inca. a switch just to play this game i would say it is one of the few games that's worth buying a system for huh. but i would like i wouldn't say that to anyone about anything i just think most people like if you've enjoyed a game and you have the capacity to like if you can tolerate menus and you can tolerate getting lost, you can tolerate a game that doesn't literally tell you what to do all the time. 
uh, I think it has qualities that appeal to just about anybody. And then people can like... One of the coolest things about it is that it really allows you to play in exactly the way you want. And there's no wrong way. That's one of the more interesting things that I've, I've noticed is like... If you stream a Souls game... People will like kind of come out of the woodwork to sort of tell you how to play or to, to critique. I don't get that so much with Zelda. It seems like uh, people actually enjoy seeing things done in different ways. I wonder. I wonder why that is. Usually, it's more like like I did it this way. I didn't know you could do it that way. Instead of like, oh, you're you're using this build, but you're not using this specific spell. It's not as efficient. I got a Switch because I worked at Nintendo at the time, and they gave free codes for Switch games, which made it worth getting. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there's there's a fair amount of you're doing it wrong. Less lately, I think. I guess you're right, Evil Chris. It's not as, uh... Like, Souls is really good about a lot of really, really cool hallways. Elden Ring is a was kind of more similar to this, I guess. Oh, I beat Thunderblade Ganon first in my initial playthrough. My friend told me I did it wrong. Oh, there you go. Okay. They're out there then. Hmm. Yeah, I I feel like I could see somebody forming an idea of like a canon order in their head because of how they incidentally play the game. I just think it's the most, uh, it's got to be the most utilitarian pick. Hmm. Getting Rivali's Gale. Hmm. Rivali's Gale is so, so good. I'm surprised the cooldown for Rivali's Gale isn't like twice as long. Evil Supernova, this is Simu. I've seen a few. Yeah, I'm playing the Wii U version, uh, but it's got all the DLC and stuff, so I think it has parity. Yeah, I'm sure the, the Switch version might even be easier to set up these days. Okay, some pretty nice complement of, uh, of bows here. A swallow bow. How much damage does a swallow bow do? Less. Much less. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know if I need food on top of the two two bits of clothing I'm wearing. I'm just going to say go. If I'm fine here, I'm probably fine up there. Right? Right? <laughs> right? Uh, to rescue Zel Zorlda. No, I can't just watch. Mm -hmm. You try the Modern Warfare 2 beta. I watched it. I'll check it out. I don't know that I'll play a ton of multiplayer. But, uh... Steph, my, my girlfriend, is the one who's more the COD hound. I'm hoping she picks it up more so that I can bring COD cam back to the stream. Huh. I can uh, I can set it up so that I, I like capture 
Steph playing Call of Duty on Xbox in the other room, and then I can bring it in here for a picture in picture so that we can see Steph dominating Call of Duty lobbies in addition to me dominating whatever game I'm playing. Yeah, unpaid labor. Hey, if Twitch is gonna start biting my shit off, I'm gonna start biting back. Two streams for the price of one. How about that, Twitch? You gonna bust me? No. People deserve it. The people deserve streams. Oh, you jump because that's your name too? Or Steph Solidarity? Yeah, I try to get her on stream more often. We need to finish It Takes Two. I actually had a fun time playing that. Oh, Pop-Tart. I actually, uh, you recommended to me like a uh, Hell Tonight. Fuck, Tonight We Die. What's the name of that game? That like PS1 caliber horror game you, you recommended? I actually ended up buying the like whole line that that producer makes because they all have really, really good reviews so i'm excited to get into those like ps1 anthology horror games uh so good oh dream pie i haven't talked too much about twitch stuff i don't know i i, I keep my mouth a little bit shut because it honestly won't affect me that much with the way they've described it i don't pull in yeah a night in hell thank you yeah that looks really cool i'm definitely going to stream that soon so thank you for the recommendation but uh yeah the way they described it how it's like they're going to reduce the rev share above a certain threshold. I don't know that I really do a whole lot of traffic above that threshold. Um, so I think a hundred thousand is probably a good limp, a good amount, but that's largely because again, I am pretty sure I fall under it. I'm not sure how much money I'm going to lose, but I don't know. Nobody wants to like, acknowledge it but twitch actually has done a pretty good job of developing features and stuff that that incentivize money to circulate oh the ad stuff uh i don't know um from my perspective as a streamer if twitch can serve ads to people in a way that doesn't make them stop watching then that's good for me because then i don't even need to like try to get people to give me money. I don't have to like try to do a whole song and dance for subs and stuff as long as as long as I'm entertaining enough or or comforting enough to keep people watching through an ad break, then that's revenue. That's revenue that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. So it's not a it's not a great stream experience, but it theoretically would make the system more sustainable. And you know, subbing is always there, Twitch Turbo is still there maybe in your region. So, I've gotten two minutes of ads at a time sometimes. It's kind of nuts. The way it's set right now is that it should be... It's it's 90 seconds of ads every 30 minutes. So, I guess three minutes per hour. Which is... Let's see here. Like what? Like 5% ads? Does that, does that seem bad? Is that bad? That doesn't seem bad. Maybe it's bad. I don't know. I pay for things to not have ads. Most of the places I go. So I, I don't like it. But that's why I, you know, basically buy no ads all over the place. Yeah, T Plat. And watch sports. It's like three minutes every twenty minutes or something. Sports is is horrible. Broadcast TV, horrible. Broadcast TV was uh, twenty two minutes of content and eight minutes of ads every thirty minutes. That's straight up the standard. It always has been. Um, online content was a lot cheaper and leaner, so it was able to subsist on like way way less money. 
but uh TV shows have two minute ads for seven minutes of content or something. Yeah, and when it's like a reality show and the content isn't even that interesting, I don't know. I still think the, the density of ads is, is as low as it gets on Twitch out of virtually every content. Unless you're like, unless you're paying for an ad free thing. I guess everyone just got really used to ad block working and all of Twitch being ad free. Yeah, 90 Day Fiance is 25% ads. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I was... The TLC, TLC run of smut uh, of garbage is, is entertaining. But good God, if it wasn't DVR'd and I couldn't just skip forward? I don't know about that. I probably wouldn't watch it. I was watching one streamer. He was going to answer my question, but got hit with an ad for two minutes just before he answered and missed the whole answer. Yeah. Now that makes, uh, that makes tons of sense. That's really frustrating. The spontaneous nature of ads and their ability to interrupt something spontaneous and live. Theoretically, it's on the streamer to account for that because I actually can see when it's going to run ads. It gives me a heads up and I can snooze it. It just requires something else being aware of and like hitting the button. Uh, or I'll just kind of like, I'll just take a breather if there's ads and there's something cool going on. Um, so I, I don't know. It sucks, but I... It seems like... It seems like a... A reasonable adjustment. But, um... That, that attitude is not very popular. So... Uh... Also, I guess, just in general, it kind of sucks... When money... When the money flow doesn't go from corporations to people and instead reverses, that's not good. I'd sit through six 30 second ads for an hour of stream or whatever the ratio is. Yeah, that's that's what it that's what it ought to be. Uh-huh. Three minutes per sixty minutes. Alright, let's go. Cable is eight minutes of ads, plus people are paying about two hundred dollars a month for it. That's insane. Yeah. Ad tolerance ha has been so much higher in the past. Which is not to say it you know, like everyone should be happy about it now. Ads suck. It's okay, slash expected to not like them. That's it. Be sick if someone just came up with a platform that just asked streamers to pay for their own VOD and bandwidth usage. And anything after that is their choice. I mean that's you could do that, I guess. You could just like buy buy a hosting platform. You could you could yeah, you could do that. You could like set up your own URL, just put your stream in the middle of the page. It doesn't have to go through Twitch. I guess. Maybe I don't know how easy that is to set up like a uh, like a video server in Jess. But I guess you could do it. There's probably YouTube guides out for it. <laughs> but yeah, again, <clears throat> once you once you start to go down that path, then you just bite off the same problems that everyone's going to bite off of having to try to compete with an established tech company. Uh Who's gonna who's gonna go to your dinky little thing all on your own? And then you're gonna have to sell the ads yourself if you want to. Which you could do. It just take some time. I use Peacock, don't even bother with their ad free version, because they still put ads in the middle of select movies. Oi. Yeah, it's I, I really do think there was like a ten year gap where because because of the shift to streaming. Every entertainment company was willing to just throw money at it, just to get people. Uh, and then, kind of in like the late 2010s, the people get settled out. Everyone was like, okay, there's no more people to get. Everyone who's been get, everyone who could be get was gotten, and now we have to make money. Now it's got to be a business. The land grab is over. And I think that's why 
that's why, like, nearly everything is having this, like, rollback. Less content, it costs more, there's more ads. Because I think we were all enjoying this just gold rush of corporations burning investment cash to try to, like, bully their way in and, and own the space. I think I need to get back to and now everybody knows what space they own. I just hope that so now it's now they have to try to like actually run a business off of it that's what it feels like Good luck. honestly a lot of the companies that i worked for felt like they existed because of that model i i got work for many years because uh some investors were like let's see if this works out <laughs> So, I benefited from it too. Cremoso, thanks for gifting five subs. Yeah, lost lead until you get a consumer base. Yep. And then, uh, oh yeah, ads are running. Yeah, it'll happen to Game Pass 2. Yes, it will. I had a feeling you would show up eventually, but making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. Yeah, just like movie pass, enjoy it while it's here. I agree. Uh... Just like Netflix and every other service. It'll be a while. I feel like it'll be at least four or five years for Game Pass, but eventually, yes. That stone the price will go up. The, the release market. pace will go down. Well, maybe. I don't know. They're buying such a, a crazy slate of developers. But the, I don't know that the release slate will go down. It'll be interesting to see. We watched Rings of Power. I watched the first chunk of episodes, yes. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed what I saw quite a bit. I need I want to go back and watch more. God, I love that sound. Don't have money for premium subscriptions, so I'm willing to sit through ads to watch what I can for free. Then again, I am poor. I just don't know how everyone has so much money for all these subscription-based services, not to mention everything having a Patreon, too. Yeah. As a... As a... Administrator of a Patreon account, yeah. Some people... Have disposable cash. It sucks. <laughs> It's, uh, it's just a weird system we've made that rewards some people for certain kinds of work and reward other people for other kinds of work way less. What sucks the most, personally, is that I can't get ad-free viewing worth $5 directly to you without giving half to Amazon. Yeah, Salacious, I mean, I guess I have a Patreon, but I, yeah, that doesn't really give you ad-free viewing, does it? Yeah, subscribing, like, buying into the system is really the only way. Uh, I guess there's there's Prime, but that doesn't really count. Uh, yeah, there's no way around it. I mean, they're the ones serving the ads, right? So it kind of makes sense that that's the cut that they take. I don't know. Sense doesn't really matter, of course. It's just business. But It would be cool if, if there were some way to... To reward that. Like I, I swear VIP used to also basically give you sub status, which also meant that you didn't see ads, but I'm pretty sure they rolled that back. Okay, hear me out. You have a Patreon only Discord and stream on it alongside Twitch for patrons. Uh I could do that. Do you need um 
Do you need restream? I've never streamed to Discord. Uh, oh, I use VPN to, ver or to view from an emerging market. I am from India. No ads. Okay. Okay. But I like this idea of... of Because uh, there is a sub-only room on Discord that I, I used to post uh, newsletters and stuff in. And now that they're video, I just mostly put together notes for the recording and I don't post those. But uh, that's maybe an option. I suspect that might might break some hidden part of the TOS. Oh, that's true. There are restrictions on multi or on co-streaming, multi-streaming for partners. Whoops! Those eased up a little bit recently. I think you can stream to TikTok now. Oh, you gotta shoot it from above. I forgot they they actually spawn enemies yeah tiktok has a video game streaming i mean it has everything streaming you can stream to your tiktok account uh oh shit i've seen some people stream video games to tiktok but it's just that like It's more like the problem is just aspect ratios. I have seen some people do like uh, portrait streams where you have to rotate your phone. I don't know how successful they are. I feel like people on TikTok, I don't know, to me TikTok is just such an attention deficit platform that if you have to ask somebody to rotate their phone, they just won't. They'll just swipe your stream away and that's it. That's it. You've lost on TikTok. You didn't, you didn't grab a child. <laughs> with a two second attention span uh oh ornery thank you for the sub and enjoy your ad free experience uh hold on i am going to use the restroom real quick i'm content not having not having a tiktok the little i've seen has me just questioning why yeah it's tiktok is really good for killing time uh it's really good at just rapid firing a bunch of like barely stimulating video the uh, one out of 50 might be interesting kind of thing, but all you have to do is this to see the next thing. It reminds me of like, there were old utilities and stuff that I would use that would just load like random GIFs. It reminds me of that, of just looking at a bunch of random GIFs in a row. Like you have no idea what the next one's going to be. You just keep clicking the button to see something new. That's kind of what it is. Uh, it's just a time sink. Yeah, the new Reddit. Uh, the endless scroll. Yep. Uh, break time. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. We're back. Plunging through this dungeon. Plunging through the dungeon. Some of the dungeons in this game are super satisfying just because, like... Uh... They're very definite. Like, you hit these eyeballs and they're hit. It's not kind of like old Zeldas where you, like, you leave a room and come back. And then, uh... Oh yeah, I don't have the control thing yet. I can't do that. You come back and like the monsters are back and there's just endless bats and you're always chopping at the bats. But in this one, you go through, you you shoot all these little orbs and they're gone. And it's very satisfying to have like a nice clean dungeon to go around and explore and get all the ch treasure chests before you leave. It's also just really neat that you just see the ground moving under you the whole time. Oh, see ya, bandit. Have a good night. I've been hearing there are restrictions for co-streaming. I've been watching this affiliate maybe partnered. RE, DMC, Dead Space, Speedrunner, dual stream to Twitch and YouTube for like two months now. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it might be a, it might be like a, a size thing for it to go to enforcement. Twitch may not be pressing enforcement too hard right now, 
knowing that uh, they have some PR to make up, some PR ground to make up. I don't know. And yeah, if it, I'd be curious if if the speedrunner is partnered or affiliate, that might make a difference. Yeah, the uh, the interesting thing is having seen a couple of platforms go through this phase that TikTok's in right now. So like. YouTube had this, Facebook video had this, Tic or Vine had this, and it really is just like if babies, if children are watching, because there are a ton of them, and uh, they contribute a lot of viewer weight and viewer metrics, and then you can sell those viewer metrics, so you're, you're essentially like selling ads to kids um, on online content. Uh, YouTube doesn't really feel like the, the viewer base has kind of moved on, it's plateaued. Because all the all the babies, all the new viewers are watching TikTok. But that's kind of how TikTok feels right now. Is that there's so many views. They're just coming out of the ground. Okay. You want to use guardian weapons on guardians, right? So if you if your business is basically in finding numbers and selling them, uh, you gotta go where the numbers are. And that's where TikTok is, so you kind of have to... I mean, it makes sense if it's your career, right? That you should have to follow audiences and learn learn the ins and outs of a, a new app and a new generation and what they want. Every every uh, business works that way. I'm trying to remember the parry button. Okay, it's that. I'm going to save before I get my ass kicked. Or I'm going to save while I get my ass kicked, basically. New platforms just speed runs the si Sorry, let me take that again. New platforms just speed run the sins of the previous ones. That's very profound. I've never heard that never heard that said that way. But yes, they do. Uh TikTok is is a deeply into like heyday YouTube territory right now. And that that's like everything. That's stolen content. It's overly sexualized content. It's like it's just tits ruling everything. Uh I have uploaded a fair amount of, of content on TikTok and just like tits and ass just do numbers. They just do. Uh, and, then, and that was the case on YouTube for a long time. Um, I don't know how much of that is just the human race liking what it likes. But uh, yeah, it's interesting. And just like m crazy amounts of re-uploads and just people ripping off each other's stuff. That weird stuff that's supposed to be for kids, but it's really creepy and weird. I'm sure that's there. Uh, I've seen some SCP stuff, but that's kind of like, that's kind of tame by today's standards. I I haven't really gone down any like really dark rabbit holes because my view, my view of trends is not like a child. Um, it'd be interesting. I wouldn't mind like logging into a TikTok account that had been used by a younger person and just seeing the content that it serves. All right, I gotta let me focus on. Let me get into the combat zone here. I wonder if TikTok will go through some its, its own form of Elsa Gate. I wonder. Oops, that was not the right button. Okay, that does that does damage. I can just chop it to death. Excellent. I worked that up way in my head. Uh, I'm I'm just kind of used to fighting those guys in trines, and they do not go down nearly that easy. TikTok has something go on every other week, depending on what, what part of it you're on. Yeah, the thing that occurs to me about TikTok is is that trends come and go so quickly, and TikTok as a company is is extremely opaque. So like, it's hard to even figure out that something is a trend. You don't really have data to know. I guess you 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 can't see view counts on other people's clips, can you? You can, you can see, like, comments. You can see some, but you can't, like, just look up what's popular. Can you? No, oh, there's a trending page. But yeah, there's no, like, there's no view number. It's, like, likes and comments and stuff. Ugh. Anyway.
a lot of views at some point last year that baited views, but had like certain depictions of death suddenly happen. Which was a problem across the entire platform for a bit. Yeah, they seem to they seem to like try to introduce some kind of auto moderation tools, or like if people had had flagged a video that it would just get gated. Uh, that happened for a while, like arbitrarily, and then it just stopped happening. I don't know. You'll need to look closely at your map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that will activate metal are- It's weird that TikTok is such a huge deal, and yet they seem to say so little about how they operate their own company. You'll need to activate all of the terminals to take back control. Think you're up to it. Yeah. It's- it's a Chinese company. It's definitely a private company. I thought TikTok was just well known to be a Chinese data farm. I mean, yeah, users are probably giving away a, a, a vast amount of very interesting information by the way that they use and interface with that app. But what are you going to do? I mean, it's an interesting, an interesting side effect. Just, you can't fight technology. You just can't do it. And what's weird is like, it seems to be out of everyone's control. All it did was was just like serve videos in, a, in an interesting way. And it's... It can basically harvest everyone's behavior data because of it. I mean, American companies do it all the time, so whatever. I guess not whatever. I think the issue is probably far more expansive than I understand. But, uh... Question is, do you think you're so important that China cares about your data specifically? Most people have told themselves no. Yeah, I think that's true. Or they just don't think about it, but they don't think about it on purpose. <laughs> like they turn that part of their brain off because the clips are funny. You know, passing judgment on it won't change it is, is something that occurs to me. So it's just, it's where the human race has chosen to go. Although the thing is like, nobody chose. There wasn't ever a moment of free will. Everyone just kind of surrendered to it. Um, which again, d good or bad, I'm not passing judgment. It's just a concerning, concerning quality of the human race. Ah, uh, that we've, we're kind of all down for the next thing. Even though that can have like very studied problems. You can measure it, it's bad, but eh. Adam and Eve had free will, and now we all have to die. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Couldn't just keep it classy, huh? I don't know that I can wiggle it yet. I don't think I can make this jump. This, I think this is where they want me to go? This just does that. May I ask you though, what use is in everyday Joe or Jane's data? Does it help a random company know how much porn they watch, what recipes they used, animal pictures browsed? No, I don't think any one person's data is all that valuable. It's it's aggregate. Uh, ooh, I'm canoe. Thanks for the raid. Um, if you get like it's it's I feel like it's just about creating behavior models, and for that you just need a lot of input data. So you just have like a vast sample size of who's watching what for how long and exactly how they engage with it and you can you can form pretty predictable behavior models about what people will do after that <clears throat> and then yeah <clears throat> ads <clears throat> <clears throat> all of that is used to uh, sort of worm into people's brains and advertise to them there's a ton of stuff I've noticed on TikTok where it's like content that seems interesting, but really it's just demonstrating a product. God. And it is like, it is like, uh, like, hey children, look at this techniques. And then sort of quickly putting together an interesting looking desk clamp or something like that. I don't know. 
But it is very much like get this product baked into your neurons kind of thing. But it's it's just the sort of thing where like this is this is a work of pure mental fiction. But let's say that like people in a given area start all searching something. Like somebody somebody noticed that you could track outbreaks of COVID by the rise in one star reviews on scented candles. Because people would get the candle, smell it, be like, oh, this candle doesn't smell like anything. Then they go to Amazon and leave a bad review. So I think that's an indication of how like data, data points can tell you a lot, uh, a lot of information about people that, uh, that can be used for all sorts of purposes. And merely having that data is valuable. And then you can sell it to advertisers and people and like you can give people windows into the, the behaviors and inclinations of groups of people to market to them. Uh, and, and that is very like intimate core data that is like specifically about their interest levels in X, Y, or Z. So, yeah. Also, don't know how much of that is shared with governments. How much of that could be used to like specifically target or destabilize areas of, of US culture for political reasons? That's that's the more paranoid aspects of it is when you when you start to think it's part of like a global culture war that the the patriots are gathering this data. <clears throat> I don't know why. Wait, can you do the thing just like now? You can. Gosh darn it. Okay. Ah, all this time. All right. Targeted advertising is backed off a bit because it was freaking people out, especially about stuff like pregnancy. People are getting ad for pregnancy products before they even knew they were pregnant. Yeah, that's that's the real fun part of the internet today, is how much false noise is fed into the system so that people people don't get creeped out. Interesting stuff for sure. It just makes you stop. You, you just stop trusting anything. Yep. Once you like read a little bit about big data and like algorithmic content, it sucks because it sucks because you start to get trapped in an algorithmic bubble. Uh, you can kind of tell that the internet starts getting curated around the, f the data points that you've given it, which sucks. Uh, it would be nice to have a more neutral lens on the world sometimes. I get annoyed with that with like Spotify. It just keeps throwing the same shit at me every time I log in. And they're all fucking singles. Just singles after singles after singles. Because I- and I've turned off like autoplay because I don't like it. I don't like where it guides the music. And uh, so it's just all these singles and just one song plays. I'm like, I get it. I know what you're doing. Spotify destroyed album listening by design. Do you think it was by design? I th to me, it makes more sense that it's like it's more of a YouTube problem. You just have to upload more often. You could either upload one album, which is 14 tracks, or upload four EPs, or upload 12 singles. Like, then you get like new music. You get that new music bump over and over and over again. Um, but yeah, I'm just surprised at how bad the recommendation algorithm is and how like how prominent it is on the service. I wish I could disable it entirely. I had the same issue on Pandora after a while. I didn't like Pandora at all. Pandora would just like, it, it guided all music towards center. Cause I think it was just based on uh, like popular, popular consensus. So no matter what, it always went to like, just bland danceable, uh, like EDM stuff. Playlist system is huge for exposure. Singles get put on them. Makes sense. Yeah, I, uh... I see it. I see the, like, the rise in singles 
is more of a part of just same thing happening to music that happened to TV and film and all that. Oh, you have to bonk it real good. That's right. You got to give it a real good bonk. Yeah, Ked. YouTube music was legit as hell. It was like, or sorry, I should say like Google Play Music when it was called that. It was actually the best music service. Because it felt like it was actually curated. It felt like they had like music editors that were actually putting together really good lists for like... <sighs> Why did it disconnect? Hey, what's up, Soapface? Yeah, it sucked that they shut it down. That was like the best service. You could upload your own stuff and it was all in the same library and uh, uh. I'll never trust again. You need to, I can't remember if you need to stasis it. Oh yeah, I'm annoyed. <laughs> Spotify won't give it a rest. Luckily, I have MediaShare. MediaShare has introduced me to a lot of really good stuff. Okay. I pretty much done all I can do over here. going on over here? I guess I gotta come at that from the other side, maybe? There's this window over here. Yeah, so yeah, that's a bummer. Anyway, those are my, my misgivings. I guess... Okay, yeah, I can go under here. See if I can get it. Let's see. Oh. Ooh, I didn't get it at all. Not at all. Oh, what the heck was that? It rumbled me off. Wheel. I wonder if like I wonder if the higher frame rate makes that those physics a little a little bouncier than usual. Cause I don't remember it like actually shaking me off the thing. Thanks for having a Monday, huh? I think he usually has a rough day. I think he's usually been been going through it. Here, I think I, I think I had to like. Oh wait, was it down the other wing? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is this is the AI failing to uh, inject enough noise into the version of the internet that I see. But it does definitely feel like there's been AI blinders put on what I see and how I see it. Maybe I need to watch more ads. Weird thing to say, but maybe that's what I need to do. Just watch more ads for dumb things that don't concern me at all. Feel more, so I feel more grounded. It's like one, is it one level down? I don't remember where that little cart is. No, it's up. It is above me. That's right. A modern ad watch stream? Huh. That'd be interesting. I would like to do more commercial viewing. Just a weird hobby. Oh, I thought you could do that. I 
when I see ads, I just want to drive down the interstate to see the same 50 accident lawyer billboards and feel content. Those are nice. Lawyer billboards are nice because their agenda is obvious. Let's see. How am I going to do that? Oh, boy. Can you really not just jump across? I really want to do it, though. I want to just jump across. I think I can do it. Uh, no, I can't. Ah. Darn, do I really have to like slide them part way over? fool I'm a fool I'm I'm a silly fool a jester a clown I think I can get this treasure though here no links links hops are so small hey I'll see you Nick yeah, Pop Dread, I'll check that uh that YouTube channel out. I always stand to learn more about the history of music. Just wish all the billboards weren't Christian nationalists. Yeah. Where I grew up that happened sometimes. I would see some of that stuff around and it was uncomfortable. Even in Texas. I was just like, oh, God. Come on, man. Whiskey Alien, thanks for the sub. Central Kansas is rife with them. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the what the goal is with those. I guess it's just to like convince everyone that you're on the winning side. They can't honestly think that like they're gonna they're gonna score some big time conversions with that stuff. I guess guilt. Guilt rarely sells, but what the? It is down here. What? It's just right here. What the? All right. Okay. Man, this is so cool, though. Ooh, it's scary. Maybe I shouldn't stand in it again. like 50% of the billboards in Montana. Jeez. Well, at least somebody's making money off this. Ugh. Stop hopping. Stop. Okay. Oh. Dude. There we go. Whew. Whew. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Ha. Ah. 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 Just let me out. Just let me out. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Thanks for the cheer, T Platt. Although this is making me this is making me realize I should probably close my windows. I was enjoying a nice night breeze. <laughs> but Yelps of that nature. Probably not good for the neighborhood, so I'll be right back. Okay, we made it. Most precarious ride. The adventure continues. Can't stop Link. 
He's a monster. Hey, what's up, Lost Versus? There are three terminals remaining. Keep going. You got it. That's Liam O'Brien, right? Sounds like it. Ooh, I'm trying to remember how to run. Let me sprint this game. How do you do that? There it is. Found it. Uh, okay, so what's the deal here? say a ton of random stuff to a friend that is using their phone just to fuck with them and ha have them hit with a bunch of random as hell targeted ads like trips to Key West, pet supplies ramen, wine, and Legos. I do. You mean just like when you're talking with them? Does that affect it? Huh. Oh. oh, oh, look at that. I too send a lot of porn to my friends. <laughs> that is a pretty high tech way of uh, trolling somebody. All right, I have a I have a difficult question to ask. Is there any indicator if you've gotten all the treasure chests inside of a divine beast dungeon? You know how, like, the shrines will put that little chest indicator? Does that exist in this circumstance? Nice warm feeling in your heart? Well, I have that all the time. Interesting. Doesn't appear to be a way. How will the Gamer Council certify this run as 100% complete then? This must be the first time anyone's ever thought of this. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? This seems to me to be an emergency of the highest order. I honestly don't know how Nintendo could drop the ball like that. Kind of pathetic, really. All right. Oh, I think I did it the wrong way. I think I'm... I think the other way might be. Go to the slate. If you have a picture of a chest, you can set your scanner to look for a chest. Or you can have you slate scan for chests in your area. That's a yeah, that's a good idea. It's a good test. If there's nothing nearby. <laughs> Darn it. Is there like a more elegant way to do a sprint jump than to just use your index finger to hit Y? It seems like that's it. There we go. There are two terminals remaining. You're almost there. 
Yeah. I can't remember if you can just jump that. I think you can. Maybe? Oh. Let me they let me do it. Fried chicken. Thanks for the sub. Ooh, that's a chonky boy. Huh. Scared to drop anything that I'll really miss. Am I crazy or did you say something about Liam, Liam O'Brien earlier? Yeah, it's. I mean, I thought that was Rivali's voice. But I could be wrong. Sounded like him. Have you been playing Return to Monkey Island? Sweet Pants? Yes. That game is great. So charming. Just absolutely wonderful. Eh. Scared me a little bit. Curious. Curious. What happens if I do this? Oh, okay. I gotta bomb the. Th oh! I gotta bomb the thing! I gotta bomb the thing! I get it. I get it. Ah. It's such an interesting side effect. You can jostle around so hard I'm dropping stuff. Ow! Oh. <laughs> If I can magnesis it through the Oh I can't. Alright. So bouncy blurpy. Calm down. Alright. You can stasis it. You can. Perfect. Oh wait, there was no reason to do that. It's not like it's going to store up being this far over. I wonder what stasis is stasis sing is sing is sing is, is, uh, is going to be like. Since it's all bouncy, it's going to get all get all wiggle whacked out of place. Oh, hold on. Let me, s let me suck it back over here. A little more wind up. Stop it! No! Ah. Oh, 
Oh, it's going the wrong way. Wait, no, it's not. This is what I wanted, somehow. Yeah, this isn't what I thought would happen at all. Okay, whatever. All right. Puzzle successfully completed. Yeah, it worked. I don't think I needed a whole lot of wind up for that one, actually. I just... Because that was the puzzle mechanic from before. Like, this, the thing hitting the plunger had to get a big wind up. So I thought I had to make it, like, slide down the ramp really hard. <laughs> what do you know? I think I overdid it. But that's okay. Puzzle solved. <laughs> Under? Get under from here. What's this little room for? Oh, that was what the orb was in. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I can just jump out of here. Get down there. Maybe? No. 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 Okay. Here we go. Yep. This one you just jump to, right? Yeah. What does your shirt say? See you, space cowboy. It is a cool shirt. Ooh. Because it is a cowboy bebop reference. That was the last terminal. Now you just need to start the main control unit. I want you to take a good look at your map. There should be a new glowing point on there. Well... Flap to it. Yeah, Goose. I need to watch Cowboy Bebop again. I haven't, I haven't watched it since, like, basically the initial run in the late 90s. I liked it at the time. I remember a lot of... Or a few episodes were very good. Most of the episodes were like, eh. <laughs> that was kind of the feeling, I guess. Pretty good. You know, it's some anime. It's, it was pretty good, though. Oh yeah, Edge Runners. Man, Edge Runners is great. I enjoyed the movies. Wait, movies? There's more than one? I never saw Knocking on Heaven's Door, even though everyone said it was crazy good. It was too sad. I just couldn't take it. Too sad. Sorry. Story too sad. Too tragic. A tender young heart just couldn't couldn't bear it. So let me see. Let's let's do this just for funsies. Oh, what's this? Is it above? Is that what that means? Son of a bitch. I want to make this jump more than ever. I see it. I 
remember just being able to like hop and scrape up the wall. Yeah. Nice bow. Uh, yes, TJ. I am. I'm using an emulator. I'm using Simu. And yes, that that frame rate, right? It's just too good. This game is just a revelation when it has a when it has a civilized frame rate. That's what kind of makes me a little hesitant to get excited for uh for Tears of the Kingdom because it's like I'm gonna play it on a Switch and it's gonna run like trash. And after this, ah. Uh, Okay, so yeah, it's definitely above. You have Switch controller connected to your PC. I I have a Wii U Pro controller, and then there is a, a little utility that actually like connects it to Simu, a little hook, so you can use motion controls and stuff. So it's great. It's a perfect setup. dangerous. Probably not on the outside. Oh, it is! Treasure! All right, hey. You know what? Big ups to the uh, the advice of using the slate to track treasure chests. I got curious and looked it up. Revali is voiced by a guy named Sean Ch Sean Chiplock. Cool. Well, Sean Chiplock's got a great voice, and I apologize for uh, miscrediting that. Okay. Well, I guess. That's all treasure chests. Oh boy. I'm I'm intimidated. What if what if I get beat up? I haven't done combat in a while. Okay. I got all my potions. That'll be fine. And I gotta take a photo. That's important. is one of Ganon's own, and it plays dirty. It defeated me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. I can't believe I'm actually saying this. But you must avenge me, Link! Oh, God. All right. His aim is dead on. Watch your... It's not that. Nope. I want there, okay. Uh <gasps> Music is so sick. Uh Probably want to use guardian weapons on him, right? Yeah, something with the shield. Okay. 
Jesus Christ. Hold on a second. Somebody's knocking on my window. I'll be right back. Okay, don't worry, everyone. Don't worry. I bribed the SWAT folks. I'm good. Everything's fine. I'm all buffed. Yes. It's time for combat. Ah! Put that away. Let's jump. Okay. Remembering buttons. Oh. It's doing a lot of damage. That's pretty good. You have to take photos of like both forms. I can't remember. Watch your blind spot. What the? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to eat something to give me like extra hearts. That was my one fairy, I think. You only have one buff at a time? Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. All right, well, whatever. <laughs> Why do you have to take photos of the bosses? To fill out the compendium. In case I want to track them in the future. 100% completion! Well, that was fast. Do people just knock on your windows? Yeah, doesn't everybody? It's a normal thing, a little window knock. Doom, doom. All right, well, that was easy. Again, equally last time I built it up way in my head and then just shot it to death. Well, I overrode like two buffs, but whatever. I'm still victorious and now I have mega jump. I think the one I go when it go after next is usually uh Well that's lame you can't take a picture of it like The uh, armor? Let's see here. What are the abilities? There's the the water one so you can like f swim swim up waterfalls. There's the uh armor and then What's the fourth ability? I can't remember the fourth ability. Oh, waterfalls and armor ability? Oh, never mind. The guardian ability. Thunder? Oh, that's like an attack, right? And I don't remember. Fairy Revive is the Water Guardian ability. Ah, okay. Mifa makes you not die. Ah, okay. I don't think I use that much in uh, in normal mode. I think I just always had pockets full of normal fairies. I'll be plucked. You defeated him, eh? Who would have thought? Oh, Mifa activates before fairies? I, I, I have no idea then. Spirit is free. 
This returns Meadow back to its rightful- I'm out of theories. I'm out of ideas. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. Ugh. Bird, he's a bird. Your value he's bird words. A bird, 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 bird. Ability, the sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale. Just kiss me already. Must we play these games, Birdman? It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle. Feel free to thank me now. Or, never mind, just go. Your job is far from finished, you know. The princess has been waiting an awful long time. I do wonder what Tears of the Kingdom will have as equivalent to the champion abilities. I'd assume they would just repeat the old effects. I'd assume not as well. Um, I mean, some of the basics like damage prevention, revival, healing. I'm excited about traversal. I think... Uh, I think by having like a, like floating platforms and a lot of up and down, even more than Breath of the Wild, you can do a lot of wacky stuff with traversal abilities. Because they had like, they had that shot of like Link riding a block. I mean, yeah, I see that. Thanks, Nightbot. Error reaching Twitch's API servers. I really hope Twitch isn't just like turning the lights off on stuff. I really hope they're not shutting down like API access for bots and things. Hopefully it's just a temporary issue. I wonder if Twitch does like, I wonder if they like kink the hose. You'll have a precise speed on Ganon from this vantage point. What if Twitch is like, oh, is right, oh, everything you, you re oh, okay. You think we, you think we're not, now we wait you think ahead. bandwidth is cheap, huh? All right. <laughs> Maybe if we just like, We've not buy as much. How do you feel about that? Years. I doubt you'll you like your uptime bots? A few more moments. You like streams not just shutting off? You like that? Alright. 50-50 it is then. <sighs> After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast and accomplished something that even I could not. It wasn't that hard, dude. Guess I was wrong about three hearts. Although, without that fairy, actually, I would have died. I, hope that luck holds out. I took one hit. Everyone's sake. Feels good. So good. I can go anywhere I want. Anytime I want. Oh, Bruce with the raid. You guys want to hear something awesome? You guys want to hear something really cool? I'm about to stop streaming. <laughs> I actually just finished up a, uh, I finished up the Divine Beast. I got Ravali's Gale. Just corked it, uncorked it for the first time. This game rules. Dang, this game's great. I'm gonna pick up this quest, though. Yes, LOL. Yeah, Bruce and I are in the same time zone, so... We tend to have the same schedules. But that means sometimes... Some brief nights like tonight, I have the distinct pleasure of seeing the gooses as I, uh, as I mop up the floor, close the blinds, wipe down the stools. He looks strikingly similar to Beeple, the richest artist in the world, thanks NFT. 
Well, how do you... How you just, it may very well be me. Maybe. You don't know what I'm doing with my feet. I could be cranking out NFT artworks, each of which are worth billions and billions of wiggle coins and piggy toes or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done streaming. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for coming over from the raid. You know, I love I love the gooses. Uh, I'm going to play more of this this week. This is going to be a big backlog clearing week. Um, Because I got this. I'm going to finish up Ace Combat. I'm going to finish up Fallout New Vegas. I'm going to finish up Star Wars Republic Commando. Uh, and then, yeah, play a lot more Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk's on a surge right now. I got to get those views, right? I had to play it for like a year and a half. Had the indignity of playing it with people coming and telling me it's a trash game. Now they can come and tell me it's a good game. And I'll be like, I know. I know. That's what I'll say. Just like that. Every time. Uh, tomorrow's raid night. Uh, we finally got out of uh, tier three. So I'm not fighting the firebird anymore. Uh, we're fighting... Uh, Vampire fighting a Castlevania. And maybe we'll just clear it. Maybe we'll just beat it, dude. Maybe we'll just beat it and win. And then we get to go on to the next ones. So who knows? Uh, but before that, I think it'll be Fallout time. I think I'm gonna play Fallout tomorrow. Tomorrow's Fallout and MMOs and who knows what else. It's gonna be a good week. I hope you all have a good week too. Because mine's already been great. I get to play Earth Defense Force today. Rules. All right. Thanks again. Have a great week, everybody. Hope to see you next time.